Have you ever wondered if the pursuit of more is truly the path to happiness? Welcome to a journey that challenges the conventional wisdom of wealth creation and luxury lifestyle. We're about to delve into a transformative concept, mastering the art of wanting less. Yes, you heard it right. Wanting less, not more. In a world that constantly pushes us towards more, more wealth, more possessions, more experiences, it's time to question if this constant pursuit is truly fulfilling. What if the secret to a richer life lies not in accumulating more, but in desiring less? What if financial freedom is not about passive income and millionaire status, but about contentment with what we already have? In the following minutes, we'll explore 15 short ideas that can help us shift our mindset and embrace a life of less. From ancient philosophies like Stoicism and Buddhism, to modern concepts like minimalism and mindful reflection, will journey through a variety of paths that lead to the same destination. A transformed life, marked not by ceaseless wanting, but by profound contentment. Welcome back to Wealth Minds Elite, the place where we redefine success, one elite mind at a time. Let's delve into the profound philosophy of Stoicism. Stoic philosophers like Seneca and Epictetus taught us the importance of moderating our desires. They emphasized that key to happiness isn't wanting more, but in wanting less. This wisdom guides us to find contentment in simplicity and to cherish what we already have. The more we want, the more we tie ourselves to the endless cycle of desire and dissatisfaction. So, by mastering the art of wanting less, we liberate ourselves from this cycle, leading to a more fulfilling and tranquil life. Remember, elite minds, less is often more, except when it comes to our channel subscriptions. We always want more of those. Gratitude is a powerful tool in mastering the art of wanting less. It's about recognizing and cherishing the wealth of blessings we already possess, rather than constantly yearning for more. Think about the things in your life that you once wished for and now have. Remind yourself of these often. It can be as simple as a roof over your head, food on your table, or the love of a good friend. This constant reminder can foster a deep sense of contentment, curbing the desire for more. Gratitude, elite minds, is the key to unlocking a wealth of happiness. Mindful reflection is another potent tool in our arsenal. It prompts us to pause, to breathe, and to consider the complexities that our desires introduce into our lives. Each desire is a thread, pulling us in a new direction, spinning us into a web of complications. But what if we let go? What if we stopped reaching for more and instead embraced the present moment? Contentment, dear friends is not a destination, but a journey. It's about finding joy in the simplicity of what we already have. A reflective mind, elite minds, is a content mind. Minimalism, elite minds, is not just a design aesthetic. It's a lifestyle choice, a conscious decision to focus on what truly matters to you. It's about stripping away the unnecessary, the distractions, the clutter that fills our lives and clouds our vision, be it possessions, relationships, or activities. Minimalism teaches us to let go of what doesn't serve our purpose. Imagine a room filled to the brim with items. There's hardly any space to move, to breathe. Now, imagine removing each item that doesn't add value to your life. Bit bit, the room starts to clear. You can see the walls, the floor, and suddenly there's room to dance, to stretch, to be. That's the essence of minimalism. But it's more than just physical decluttering. It's also about mental, emotional decluttering. It's about understanding that more isn't always better, that richness doesn't always equate to wealth, and that luxury isn't inherently tied to excess. In a world that constantly tells us to want more, to strive for more, minimalism is a radical act of resistance. It's a path to financial freedom, to finding contentment in simplicity, to building wealth in experiences and relationships rather than material possessions. Minimalism, when correctly applied, frees you from the shackles of excess. And remember, elite minds, while we're talking about minimalism, there's one thing you should definitely not minimize, your interaction with our channel. Hit that subscribe button and maximize your wisdom. Buddhism teaches us a valuable lesson on desire. In the heart of this ancient philosophy, desire is seen as the root of suffering. It's the constant yearning for more that fuels our discontent, our unhappiness. But the path to liberation, according to Buddhism, is not through the fulfillment of these desires, but rather through detaching from them. 
By practicing detachment, we learn to be at peace with what we have, rather than being in a perpetual state of wanting. This is not about abandoning ambition, but about understanding the difference between need and greed. Detach elite minds and find your inner peace. Hedonic adaptation, elite minds, is a trap many fall into. It's a curious phenomenon that's as much a part of our human nature as our need to breathe. It's the tendency for us to quickly return to a stable level of happiness, despite major positive or negative changes in our lives. Picture this. You dream of buying a luxury sports car, believing it will bring eternal joy. You save, you sacrifice, and finally, you purchase it. The initial thrill is exhilarating, but then it starts to fade. The car, once a symbol of accomplishment, becomes just another part of your daily routine. This is hedonic adaptation at play. We chase after wealth creation, luxury lifestyles, and the idea of becoming a millionaire, believing these will bring us lasting happiness. But hedonic adaptation steps in, reducing these intense emotions to a mere whisper of what they once were. It's a cycle that can lead us to feel eternally dissatisfied, always craving more. But understanding this concept can help us break free. Instead of seeking temporary pleasure, we can strive for lasting contentment. We can shift our focus from the pursuit of more to the appreciation of what we already have. Strive for lasting contentment, elite minds, not fleeting pleasure. Simplicity, elite minds, is the ultimate sophistication. Now, let's delve into the realm of choices. Barry Schwartz, an esteemed psychologist, suggests that we can decrease anxiety and increase satisfaction by reducing the number of choices we make daily. It's a compelling thought, isn't it? By simplifying our decisions, we can avoid the overwhelming paradox of choice. With fewer options, we can focus on what truly matters, make decisions with greater ease, and ultimately, find more satisfaction in our choices. Simplify elite minds and find satisfaction. And while we're simplifying, why not simplify your YouTube browsing by subscribing to our channel? One click, and you'll never miss our enlightening content. Now isn't that sophisticated? Work smarter, not harder, elite minds. The key to mastering the art of wanting less lies in streamlining your work. Concentrate your efforts on high leverage activities, those tasks that yield the greatest results. This approach will maximize your output while minimizing your input, resulting in a more balanced, fulfilling life. And what about those tasks that don't significantly impact your goals? Well, it's time to bid them goodbye. Remember, Every minute spent on an insignificant task is a minute lost on one that could bring you closer to your goals. Efficiency, elite minds, is the road to success. A simple diet, elite minds, is a healthy diet. Simplifying your dietary habits doesn't mean deprivation. Rather, it's about understanding the value of quality over quantity. It's about choosing foods that nourish your body and sustain your energy, while minimizing the time you spend on meal preparation. This approach not only simplifies your life, but also contributes to your overall well-being. After all, the food we consume plays a significant role in our mental and physical health. So prioritize a high-quality, simple diet. Fuel your body right, elite minds, and it will reward you. Quality over quantity, elite minds, applies to relationships too. In the grand tapestry of life, it's the deep, meaningful connections that enrich our existence, not the superficial ones. Investing time and energy in a few significant relationships can offer much more value than maintaining a wide network of shallow connections. These relationships become the pillars of support in our lives, providing emotional sustenance, shared joy, and a sense of belonging. So take time to cultivate these deep bonds. Cherish your relationships, elite minds. They are your true wealth. Alignment, elite minds, is crucial in life. It's the compass guiding us through the sea of choices ensuring that what we do resonates with who we are. Engaging in activities that harmonize with our personal goals and values brings a sense of fulfillment and purpose. It's not about ticking off a list, but about choosing what truly matters. It's about saying no to the noise and yes to the symphony of our values. So let's dissect our activities, align them with our values, and watch as life takes on a richer hue, align elite minds and find fulfillment Money, elite minds, should be spent wisely. It's not about hoarding wealth or indulging in every luxury. It's about selective spending, 
investing in experiences and items that reflect your values and bring long-term satisfaction. This isn't about being stingy, but being smart. Consider the joy of a well-planned trip, the fulfillment from a book that expands your knowledge, or the comfort of a home filled with items that have meaning, not just price tags. Spend wisely, elite minds, and reap satisfaction. Burnout, elite minds, is a silent killer. It's the result of the relentless pursuit of higher financial rewards, often at the cost of personal fulfillment and enjoyment. Remember, wealth creation isn't solely about amassing riches or achieving a luxury lifestyle. It's about finding a career path that sparks joy, brings satisfaction, and aligns with your personal values. It's about having the financial literacy to understand that true wealth isn't always material. Passion, purpose, and peace of mind are priceless. Choose fulfillment, elite minds, over mere financial rewards. Technology, elite minds, is a double-edged sword. On one hand, it opens up a world of information and possibilities, but on the other, it can be a relentless source of distraction, disrupting our focus and hindering creativity. Dopamine, the feel-good hormone, floods our brains with each ping and pop-up notification, creating a cycle of addiction. Mindfulness of these dopamine-stimulating habits is critical. Try to set aside specific times for checking emails or social media, allowing for periods of uninterrupted thought. Limit your screen time, elite minds, and enhance your creativity. Contentment, elite minds, is a practice. It's about recognizing that the pursuit of more often complicates life rather than enriches it. So each day identify one thing you can let go of, perhaps an unnecessary desire or a redundant task, and simplify it. It may seem insignificant at first, but small steps lead to big changes. Over time, this daily practice of wanting less cultivates a sense of contentment, freeing you from the endless cycle of desire. Practice contentment, elite minds, and transform your life. So, elite minds, we've journeyed through 15 ideas to master wanting less. We've explored the wisdom of Stoicism and Buddhism, learning to moderate desires and understand that desire can be the root of suffering. We've practiced gratitude and mindful reflection, acknowledging our blessings and the complications that wanting more can bring. We've adopted minimalism, focusing on what truly matters and eliminating the unnecessary. We've recognized the fleeting nature of pleasure in hedonic adaptation, striving for lasting contentment. We've simplified our choices, our work, our diet, and even our relationships, reducing anxiety and increasing satisfaction. We've learned to align activities with our values, spend selectively, and avoid burnout. We've limited screen time to enhance creativity and practice contentment as a daily habit. All these steps, elite minds, are not just about financial freedom or wealth creation. They're about a richer, more fulfilling life where we are not just chasing passive income, but cultivating active contentment. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm off to simplify my coffee order, but don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, elite minds, less is more. Except when it comes to our videos, we always want more of those.